This is a JavaScript implementation of the Fibonacci number generation algorithm using a bottom-up approach. We're going to walk through the function for n of 5 and see what it does behind the scenes. So after we define the function, this code calls fib with 5. So we're in the function with an n of 5, and n is not 0 and it's not 1, so this condition is false, and we come down here. Now here is the real bottom-up code. Uh, so we start off by declaring three variables that are going to be the only variables that we need here, and they're going to remember three things at a time. So we have two behind, which we initialize to 0, which is the very first Fibonacci number, one behind, which we initialize to 1, that's the second number, and result, which we'll initialize to 0. And this will eventually store the answer we're looking for. Then we have a for loop that starts at 1 and goes for n minus 1 times. So inside that for loop, the first thing we do is set result equal to 2 behind plus 1 behind. So this is going to be 0 plus 1, so result is currently 1. Then we set 2 behind to 1 behind, so that it becomes 1, and we set 1 behind to the result, so that it also becomes 1. Now we're in the next iteration, and this time, result we set to 2 behind plus 1 behind, so that's going to be 2, and then 2 behind to 1 behind, so that's 1, and then 1 behind to result, so that's 2. Now we're in the next iteration, we set result equal to 2 behind plus 1 behind, so that will give us 3, 2 behind to 1 behind, so it will become 2, and 1 behind to result, so it becomes 3. Next iteration, result we set to 2 behind plus 1 behind, so that'll be 5. We set 2 behind to 1 behind, so it will become 3, and then 1 behind to the result, so it becomes 5. Now next iteration, are we going to go into it? Nope. Instead, we're going to the end and returning the result, which is now 5. That is the result for when n equals 5. And this is a bottom-up approach to generating Fibonacci numbers.